Hello everyone, welcome to Emergency Radiology Case Review Series. This is 20-something year old female who presented to the emergency department with right lower quadrant pain. She underwent CT examination for suspected acute appendicitis. I'm going to start with the axial images. I'm scrolling from superior to inferior direction. As I scroll down, I'm going to focus on the right lower quadrant. So we see a dilated viscous, which has got thick wall with surrounding fat stranding. As I scroll up and down, so this is the terminal ilium. So this is the region of the ileocecal valve. So this viscous is cecum, which is abnormally positioned. It's medialized with a thickened wall. As I scroll down, so this is the base of the cecum and from where the appendix is seen, filled with gas, it's not dilated. There is no significant inflammatory fat stranding in the periappendicial region. Now let's look at the coronal images. So this is the abnormally positioned cecum. You can clearly see the, the thickened wall of the cecum. So this is the terminal ileum entering into the cecum. And as I scroll back and forth, just focus on this region. You can see swirling of the mesentery. Constellation of findings is consistent with cecal valvulus. To summarize, in cecal valvulus, the cecum is abnormally located. In some patients, the cecum can be very dilated and can point towards the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. Whenever you find cecum is medialized, always check if the wall of the cecum is thickened. Also look at the orientation of the ileocecal valve and for any twisting of mesentery. Because in some patients, cecum can have a redundant mesentery but without wall thickening or twisting of the mesentery. I hope you found this case to be interesting. Thanks for your attention.